Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Elon Musk podcast. This is a show where we discuss the critical crossroads that shape SpaceX, Tesla, The Boring Company, Neuralink, and X. And I'm your host, Will Walden. Today's episode is about Twitter, formerly known as X. And you know the blue check mark that everybody loves to have beside their uh, profile? Well, Elon Musk is going to make that mandatory for premium X users from now on. Now, at some point, they gave you the option to hide that, which for some people was a great thing. Because some people love the ability to have uh, the perks from the premium account, but also hide the blue check mark because they didn't want to. Kn- they didn't want people to know that they were a premium user, and that's up to them. You know, if you pay for something, you should, I think, have the right to do whatever you want to with it. And some people that have the premium accounts, well, most of them now, all of them soon will have the blue check mark. And that's just it. Some people will stop using the premium account. They'll stop paying for it or they'll just move on to different um, platforms like threads or, you know, Facebook or whatever, whatever they're going to do, probably threads if they're going to move on. So this used to be optional in 2023, they introduced uh, that you could take it off. You could turn it off whenever you wanted to. And it looks like from now on, we're all going to have blue check marks. There's no way around it. And that's okay. I mean, if you're going to be paying for authenticity, basically, that you're a real person, that's what Elon wanted this for. He said that premium accounts were going to be uh, able to authenticate people. Well, this is what it's all about, right? And if you have a premium account and you just want the stuff that goes along with it, well, you're out of luck. Uh, the blue check mark being discontinued in the past, of course, remember, they didn't want, he didn't want any blue check marks for people of status. And he called it, what did he call it? It was something, um, basically lords and so, something like that. I forgot what it was, but he basically said people with status had these blue check marks. And now like people that don't have the status don't have the blue check marks. He didn't like that. But then he introduced the blue check mark as a thing that you have to buy, right? Some people can't afford that. I know it's around $10 a month USD, but still $10 a month USD for a lot of people is a decent amount of money. And sometimes you just might not want any of the things that come along with a blue check mark. You might just want the status having a blue check mark. And it's, are you a king now? Was that the thing? Like, because you can pay for this, you're sort of like an elite status among, amongst all the people that can't pay for it. So I believe it's kind of the same thing. But people felt like they should be able to hide the check mark if they wanted to. Now they're got, not going to be able to conceal that in the coming weeks, months. Um, you know, it, it was heavily used, utilized when. Uh, the blue check mark, the hiding the blue check mark was heavily utilized last week when Elon Musk started reintroducing the blue check mark to people that were famous and notoriably like whatever they did was was notoriable. So it's a weird situation. I don't know. I I'm kind of up in the air about this one. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. It's a blue check mark to me. It shows I have it on my Twitter account, my X account. Um, and I just do it because I want people to know that it's the actual authentic uh, X account for my channel. And that's it. I don't want to take it away. I don't really care that much um, either way. So this is supposed to uh, supposed to divide the, the populace on Twitter, on X, some way uh, to people who are prioritized in the feed also. Uh, so I don't know if you pay for premium, you're prioritized and that's okay too. You, you might want to pay for that sort of feature. I know I, this is kind of a, it's a weird thing for me because I don't know if paying for a blue check mark is the right way to go. I think it should be something that's earned like it was before. If you're notoriable, you should earn that check mark somehow. If you were a public figure, you should have the check mark. But if you're just anybody, why should why would you have to pay for that? Why would you want to pay for this check mark? I understand it gives you a little bit of 
notoriety. It gives you a little bit of status if you have a blue check mark, right? And that's great. But more than likely, it doesn't really do much for you other than put you in people's feeds a little bit earlier. So make good content. You know, that's pretty much all it is. So that kind of shows there's another underlying issue here too. Discoverability on X is a in a weird place right now. So someplace like YouTube, discoverability is, it goes like this. You make great content that people want to watch. People will find it because the algorithm pushes the good content to the people that want to watch it. Okay. That's very simple. Very simple. Now with Twitter's premium account with the check mark, you can buy that kind of reach because you go into the feed before everybody else. So you go higher than everybody else. It's kind of like uh, Google ads, right? So like if you search for, say if you search for Crocs on <laughs> Google, right? Crocs is, they're going to buy the top spot on Google on, on the search placement. They're going to buy that spot. And that's kind of what a premium account is. You're buying that top search spot, but on X. And I don't know if that's the right thing to do or if that's a weird thing to do. And I've always kind of conflicted with this because I, I believe in the mission of X, which is make an app for everything, for everybody, include everybody, free speech, et cetera. I think it's a great idea for an app. The implementation of some of the features seems a little weird. Um, and, and, you know, some, some other social media platforms, it, it's similar to uh, X in this regard, where you can buy status, you can buy a check mark, you can pay for premium features. Some people love to do that stuff. They, they, they use all of these platforms all the time. They might do it for their job, so they might need it. So I'm one of those people, I need it for my job. You know, I, I'm a YouTuber. I, I have a space channel, Space News Pod, where I talk about the latest in space flight. Basically, all of SpaceX news is on Space News Pod. So. I need that, you know, I need this for my business, you know, for my, for my YouTube channel too. And I post back and forth there too. So there's a, there's a, a real need for me to have that, but I don't like the way that it's implemented. If that makes sense. If it pushes me higher in the algorithm, that's cool. That's great. Thank you. But also at that point, you're not like utilizing an algorithm utilizing a paycheck or you're utilizing, uh, you know, a paid endorsement as opposed to make good content, push it to the top. If people start watching it, that's great. But if not, then you get, you know, pushed down. That's cool too. Like that's how it works, I guess. So let me know what you think of the comments. I'm, I'm kind of up in the air in this one. Um, uh, I want to hear all of your opinions on this because it's going to be a, it's going to be a weird shift back to, people with notoriable lifestyles and people that are famous getting blue check marks just because they're famous, you know, or they did, you know, they're, they're a notable figure. So uh, those people will always have a blue check mark, but you can't hide it. So I'm not sure. Anyway, that was me. You know, this is off the cuff. I want to talk about this with you and I want to hear what you have to say. So thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoy this kind of content, if you want to talk about this stuff more, hit the subscribe button. We're gaining traction and also hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below because that really does help not only me, but it helps you because you'll be getting more Elon Musk and all of his company's news in your YouTube feed because they see that you like this video and you subscribe to the channel and it'll push more Elon news into your algorithm and into your feed. So if you take a second, do that. That'd be great. Thanks so much. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in the next one.